man versus slug. Welcome to Man vs. Slug. Um, thanks for all your comments on how to deal with Blackfly, they're much appreciated. Uh, but unfortunately, I actually record these videos a couple of weeks in advance, so I haven't been able to read your comments yet because I can't time travel. Or can I? Maybe it's time to invoke my inner doctor. Welcome back to Man vs. Slow now into the first week in June and uh, looking at the book Bed in One Bed um, it looks like June is going to be quite an exciting month we're going to be harvesting potatoes harvesting some of the broad beans planting beetroots I love beetroots um, yeah all sorts going on but I see here actually uh, to prevent black fly infestation we should be pinching out the new shoots on the top of the broad beans would have been useful to know that back in, uh, in May yeah, anyway, Chen can't travel in time. So there we have it, folks. Turns out I should be pinching out the top of these uh, raw beans, and from what I found out, I can eat this stuff off the top. I'm just going to pinch it uh, just above where that last flower is, like that. And uh, well, I might have to wash off some of the black fly, but then we'll be able to cook these and eat these this evening. We fried the broad bean tips in uh, butter and we're going to serve them with a, some chicken nuggets and chips and fish as well. But uh, yeah, it'll be interested to see how they taste. The broad beans have done really well in the greenhouse. We've got seven of the ten we've planted that have germinated and uh, they seem to be growing nicely. Unfortunately, in the same condition, the kale plants well, three germinated, two in one pot. One of those has died, starting to look a bit yellow, um, and a lot haven't germinated at all. Now, they've been in the same conditions because they've been in the same seed tray. I was thinking of taking the kale into the house to put on a windowsill rather than the greenhouse, um, but obviously I can't do that without taking the broad beans in as well, but they're doing well out here. So I thought maybe what I would do is take the broad beans out, put them in pots, and then take the kale to the house. So that's just what I'm going to do now. I changed my mind. I can't get the broad beans out without destroying all of the soil and end up tipping the tray upside down. So I'm just going to take that whole lot into the house and the broad beans can live inside for a while and hopefully we'll get some kale germinating. Um, otherwise we'll have to go to a garden centre and buy some kale. There is really not very much happening in the garden this week, so you get to see me cooking. So we've got some friends coming over today for lunch and uh, we've got so much lettuce it's uh, going to be a, a Caesar salad. But um, as with all organic food, it's uh, trying to make sure there's nothing on it that shouldn't be on it. So it's all been washed very thoroughly and it's all being inspected for any food like. But we don't want that. So the next job is to cut up all the um, bread into small cubes and turn it into some croutons. We've also got some chicken because uh, I don't want to be too vegetarian, um, but I will serve it so that they, people can choose to take the, the um, chicken or just have plain Caesar salad without chicken. So it's time to make the croutons. So we need to put them all into a big baking tray. I might need two because I've done quite a lot. Olive oil. Mixed herbs. I've got basil, thyme, and oregano. And then just mix it up. I have tried to fry these before, oh, they're going everywhere. but um, I find them much better and much crunchier and less greasy if um, they go in the oven. Let's have a bit more oil there. A nice bit of olive oil. Side, and then leave it on the side so that 
people can choose what they want to do. Okay, final stage of the Caesar salad is to make the Caesar dressing. So we need anchovies, um, eggs, oil, parmesan. Thank you, Mr. Sainfus. You've made my life much easier. Nearly there with the salad. We have just got the really nice and crispy croutons here. Oops, one more bit Final stage of the Caesar salad is bonus parmesan. Mm. Without the leeks growing at home, we have come to a garden centre and we're getting a couple of strips of leek and we're also getting kale, which I think we planted the reflex F1 at home, uh, even though it didn't come up, but we have some here so we can get the same variety of kale. There's actually quite a good choice. We've got some black kale at the back here um, and the Brussels sprouts and all the way over here we've got some sort of purple curly kale. It looks quite cool. Uh, but we're just going with the, the standard green curly kale. Look, look, it's Bluetooth enabled smart plant. Run safer to the rescue.